morning guys happy whatever day it is morning everybody good morning good morning it is such a nice day outside like i'm seeing blue skies minimal cloud you can actually see the mountains they're not hidden behind like clouds and these are my favorite days because it's winter, but it still looks sunny outside. It's not gloomy and I feel so much more motivated to do things and get stuff done. Also guys, today I'm actually using a tripod and not just like using a lamp, leaning on it, whatever that was in like my previous video. Okay guys, this is it. This is my DIY ring light. So I've got a lamp leaning against well i mean do i even have to say it a picture speaks a thousand words good morning good morning ah i'm just so excited for today so today is monday which in the mountain world of working is my saturday and today i thought it'd be really fun to bring you guys along and show you what a day off on the mountain is like like what do i actually do here when i'm not working so today i'm gonna take you guys snowboarding i think we have to go grocery shopping like a bunch of boring routine stuff but then also snowboarding so i feel like it's still gonna be fun so get ready guys because i'm gonna show you secrets I'm just gonna show you my day. I don't know, stay tuned if you'd like. First, let me just show you what it actually looks like outside because it looks so nice. Ugh, look at all that blue sky. I mean, I know there's clouds, but if you just look past that and look at the blue sky, like, mm -mm, it's gonna be a good day. Love it because it's like, obviously winter, you can see the snow on the trees and the mountain and the houses, but the sky makes it look like it's gonna be warm outside. And you know how in summer, when it's a clear sky, it's a beautiful day, you just feel more, happy and like willing to go outside that's basically me right now i'm like i know it's negative 10 but i'm ready i'm ready to go ah! i don't know what that was guys i think i'm just really excited so cal has gone out to do a lap of snowboarding by himself he is a what he is significantly better than me at snowboarding so i'm like you go do your thing have fun send it and I will be there soon. I feel like I just can't send it, you know? Like I can snowboard, I can get down the hill, but I mean, maybe I'm sending it, but it's definitely not express post because it's taking me a long time to get down the hill, but it's fun. And that's the main thing, right? I feel like even if you're not doing all the cool stuff, if you're not like, I don't even know what that is, but even if you're not like full sending it and shredding it down the hill, as long as you're having fun, that's the main thing. I seriously sound like such a mother, I can't. But yes, I wanted to bring you guys along for a day in the mountains, a day in my day off life, and hopefully you enjoy. Guys, I'm filming on my iPhone 11 and yo, the quality pulls through. Like when they said they're releasing a new phone with basically nothing different except for the camera, they, what was they saying? They really produced a new phone with a good camera. I'm like, hello. Hello, bad lighting that's still filming okay in. So I've already had breakfast, done the dishes, washed my face, all of that kind of like morning stuff. Because honestly, I woke up this morning so late. It was like 9.15 and I was like, still exhausted. You know when you sleep, but you're still tired and you kind of just feel like really ripped off. That happened to me. And so I really had to have a coffee before I could film because I was just me pouring a coffee like, huh? Guys, today I'm really hoping that I can nail carving it down the hill on a snowboard. And I'm saying this now and I'm putting it out there in the universe so that when I go out there, because I put it out there, the universe will provide and I will carve down the hill on my snowboard. Come on, wife! <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm really getting new to the whole tripod thing. It literally just fell. Whoopsie, hey. Just trying to fix it. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just trying to learn. I guess, oh gosh, I guess that's the thing with these bendy tripods. They just, they keep bending, even when you think you've got it in place. It's still gonna be a good day. <laughs> Okay, so I just got dressed. I'm in all my snowboard gear, but I realized I have a trick that I want to share with you guys because it's something that I wish I thought of or knew 
like a year ago when I started snowboarding. So if you're a snowboarder, a skier, or anyone who does any kind of like winter related sports, this is a trick for you. It's also a beauty trick. It's not actually like a doing any kind of sport trick. So uh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe I should clarify that first. So la I just dropped my hairbrush. My bad. <laughs> so last season, when I went snowboarding, I would wear my helmet, put on my hair back, and then I hated that it kind of made me look just like a potato head. Like it was just me in a helmet and you could just see like this. And I have a super round face, which is fine. Like I don't mind, but when you take all the hair away and then put something on, I literally just looked straight up like a potato. I can't think of anything else <laughs> that I looked like apart from a potato. So then I would start like pulling these bits at the front down and having them kind of outside my helmet. And it gave it that kind of like, I don't know, it just kind of made it feel less like a potato and more just kind of like, I'm snowboarding and I look cute. But it really fucked up my hair. It damaged it so bad that like now, I don't know if you can see, like these bits are pretty long, but then these bits here are super short. And it's not like I had it cut like that. Like that is literally from it snapping in the cold. Cause it can get to like, you know, like negative 30 and you're just out there and your hair freezes and it gets all wet and gross. And it's just not what you want, honestly. Like it's just straight up not a good time. So this season I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not gonna put any of my hair out in the cold, especially because I used to have my hair bleach blonde. I'm trying to grow it out. I'm trying to get it healthy. So I feel like if I just wear these bits out the front of my helmet, just to look cute, literally, I feel like I'm just gonna make my hair worse and it's 100% not worth it. Because as much as I wanna like feel confident and feel like I look good, like out on the slopes, it's just not worth damaging my hair that I'm putting so much like time and effort into trying to fix. So this is the trick. This is what I came up with. And if you're already out there doing this, then you're ahead of the game. You are crushing it, you're killing it, and good on you. I wish I knew this a year earlier. Basically what I do is I get all of my hair and I like brush it back into like a slick pony. Sometimes I'll plait the back of it, but I'm kind of running late, so. Today I'm just gonna put it in a ponytail. Once that's all slicked back, I love this. I love this right now. Shrine till you're dead. Just ignore that bit. I don't have any bobby pins right now. After you put this in, I grab two extensions that I cut short and I clip it kind of like around this bit here. Sometimes like a bit lower, a bit higher, but I think here should be okay. And then I do that again for the other side. Not the end look, I promise. It kind of feels weird doing it at first because you would never ever wear a clip-in extension like this. Like if you were down the street, just like. But bear with me. Once they're clipped in, I guess you could put a helmet on straight away, but I always wear one of these like head warmer things. So after I've clipped these in, I put this on. I don't know if there's a graceful way to put these on. But then I pull these bits out. And I feel like I need to put the helmet on to get the full effect. And this is it guys. So basically instead of your hair hanging down and getting damaged, it's just two extensions that take all of that harsh weather for you. Honestly, this only works if you have extensions to spare. I know that some people watching will be like, what a useless trick. I don't know. Anyway, it just helps me feel a little bit more like, okay, I'm ready. I got this. I'm looking a bit less like a potato. Take it, leave it, do whatever you want with it. But that's the tea. That's the trick. That is that on that. Okay, I am all ready to go snowboarding. I haven't heard from Cal in like 10 minutes, so I'm hoping he's somewhere near the bottom of the hill. Let's get it guys, let's. This is such a interesting angle, isn't it? Like, hi, hello. So let's go, 
Let's go snowboarding. Let's go. Let's shred. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that so much. snowboarding I'm currently having some lunch I planned on getting home and hopping straight in the shower and then having lunch so I could like relax and just like watch something on Netflix but I was too hungry so I had to have lunch first does that happen to anyone else where as soon as you get home from something instead of kind of like having a shower and then like getting in comfy clothes you just have to eat straight away or am I just like addicted to food I don't know mmm so my lunch this week, I'm having this like Mexican kind of salad and it's like kidney beans and quinoa fried in this like Mexican seasoning. And then I toss that all together and add this kind of like, what is it? What's the sauce? It's like lime, avocado, jalapeno, cilantro, just like a green kind of sauce. And guys, it is the best salad. Like. It is so good, honestly. I'm not a massive salad person. I'm kind of like, yeah, they're all right, they're healthy. But this one, I could eat this salad every single day. In fact, I have. The last like seven days, this whole week, this is what I've had for lunch every single day. I highly recommend it. Doesn't get much better than this. Doesn't get much better than this. After lunch, I'm gonna try and go to the gym because I've really been trying this month to like step up my game, exercise more, and just get fitter, I suppose. So I'm gonna stretch and go to the gym, and then we're gonna catch the bus into town to go grocery shopping. Then hopefully after that, we have time to like go to the hot tubs and the sauna and like, because our muscles are gonna be so sore after today, I really hope we have time to just go and do that. And then some of our friends are coming over tonight for just for like some casual drinks. So that's the plan for the rest of the day. I actually can't believe the camera hasn't fallen down this whole time because I don't really know how this tripod is staying up right now. Like, I should tell you guys about what I'm doing. So this February, my friend Nathan and I decided we would do this thing called the February Glow Up and Grow Up. And basically it's just where you dedicate the whole month to just really getting a honestly so we're trying to like exercise more and eat healthy and drink water and like set goals and I don't know it's been pretty good so far but that's also why I'm like snowboarding and going to the gym today and then stretching because it's like February I don't know what date it is but I'm trying to stay strong on that yeah I feel like I'm just talking too much and not getting through my salad so I'm gonna go finish this <laughs> but I will check back soon if you ever need a photo, like you want to take a photo, Cal. It's not right. Huh? <laughs> I was gonna say you're not wrong and then I just f***ed it up. Guys, I made this coffee an hour ago and I'm still drinking it. And if that doesn't sum me up, I don't know what does. We're about to go grocery shopping and... I should have finished the coffee first. We're about to go grocery shopping and the bus leaves at 4.30. It takes about 10 minutes to walk to where the bus picks us up from. And there's a whole reason why we're taking the bus and not our car, but I feel like I'm gonna save that story for a rainy day because it's a lot. It's a, it's a story. Right there, there's extra fancy long grain. Oh. Oh, fancy. <laughs> Seriously, it looks like we've bought 
like the whole store. Okay, we just got back from grocery shopping and we bought so much food this week. I guess it's just one of those weeks where like everything had run out, like we had to get potatoes and rice and more things than just carbs, I promise, but it's like Listerine, like just a bunch of bulky, expensive things that you have to buy. So I'm gonna unpack all the groceries and then our friends are coming over. I'm just looking at the time in like 10 minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna put the groceries away and quickly clean up a little bit. Kyle's gonna make some tacos and then we're just gonna hang out, eat and make some drinks. I'm pretty excited. I don't seem it right now, but I promise you, I promise you I am. I'm just, you know when you have a lot to do and you just keep like, I don't know, does anyone else just like lose their words and kind of just space out like? Yes, I'm excited for our friends to come. We're gonna make tacos and like have a couple of drinks and it's gonna be a pretty chill night, but I also feel like they're my favorite nights ever. We always generally like at least one night of our weekend, we'll like have some like drinks or some food or we'll have like a movie night or something, basically where we can just like hang out with everyone. So I'm really excited for that. And it is now down to like eight minutes till they're probably gonna be here. So I should really get off camera and do all of the things I need to do. But, so I'm probably gonna end this vlog here. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll end it later. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so 